Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chrisman XMNN, and for today's video, we're going to unbox a new smartphone which I have purchased to my special someone. And I will reveal the special someone at the very end of this video, so please stay tuned on that. Yes, we're going to unbox the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. First impression for the box, guys, um, it's minimalistic, it's heavy. No joke, guys, um, the box is very heavy, so I'm quite excited to unbox this one, so let's do the unboxing. Alright guys, so we're going to unbox the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro and this variant is a 128 gigs of internal storage, 6 gigs of RAM and the color is pearl white. So, first impression guys, the box is heavy and I'm very excited what are the contents of this box and why is this box is heavy. And let's tear down the plastic. Okay, and let's open the box. Okay, so you're greeted with this one. So this is your, let me open this one, what's inside. So first and foremost, we have the SIM ejector tool here and the manuals. Clear soft jelly case to protect your smartphone and I commend Xiaomi for including this one. It's the same with Huawei, they are including a soft jelly case to their smartphone. Okay, so let's set this aside. Okay, next is the, the phone itself. Okay. Alright, so I think... I think I know why the box is heavy because the phone itself is heavy, maybe due to its huge battery, which is 4,500 milliamp battery. So this phone comes with a 64 megapixel ultra high resolution camera, quad camera with ultra wide and macro lenses. So this is the the quad camera setup, guys. And this is the fingerprint scanner. And this is the pearl white version of the phone. And I, what I really love about this phone is that fingerprints are not really visible on this phone if you're gonna purchase the white or the pearl white version and to continue um, the phone has a high performance Helio G90T with liquid cooling system to cool down the phone if you're going to use this phone for heavy gaming so this phone is being marketed by Xiaomi for gamers with a low budget price and not only that this phone comes with 4500 milliamp high capacity battery with 18 watt fast charger so this is the phone guys so we are going to tackle more about this one so let's check the other items inside the box so after the phone we will see here what's this this is the so this is the 18 watt fast charger which comes in the box and I'm going to use an adapter to use the charger for this one since it has a different um, input here right so what else we have here we also have the the usb cord and what's good about this is that it is already type c guys let's check if we still have other um information in the box okay i think there's none and pretty much that's it guys Let's have a recap what's inside the box. We have the phone itself, the Redmi Note 8 Pro, which is the pearl white version that which I have. Next is we have the soft jelly case and thank you Xiaomi for including such one. We also have the USB Type-C cord, the 18 watt fast charger, the quick guide and manual of the device. And lastly, we have the SIM ejector tool. Okay, now so let's peel off the protective film of this device. right and also at the back are some instructions here and it shows here that we have a hybrid sim card tray it doesn't support dual sim card but you can put a micro sd and your sim card so there's no um, dual sim card support for this smartphone so let me put it, peel this off okay and this one 
At the top of the smartphone, it has an IR blaster, so which means that you can use this smartphone as a remote control to support it appliances and devices. At the bottom of the smartphone, it has a downward firing speaker, USB Type-C, and a headphone jack. And it's a good thing that this phone has a headphone jack so that you can use your existing headphones. And also, if you're going to vlog using this smartphone, you can use an external microphone to this phone. So at the side, we have here the power button, the volume rockers, and at the um, left side is the SIM card tray. So let's turn this phone on. Hopefully it has remaining battery. And the logo shows Redmi by Xiaomi, Redmi Note 8 Pro by Xiaomi, and it's powered by Android, of course. Okay, so this is the home screen and hold on. So the theme is limitless and to be honest guys, I really like the icons at first glance and it feels like iOS though. Settings and it's so fluid. Have the camera, tap it allow, allow. So this is the macro. We have the standard lens which is a 68 on the 64 megapixel. And we have the ultra wide angle. Not so much for that, so let's check settings and verify the version of Android that we have here. So let's check uh, my device. And we have the new UI version, which is 10.4.2, Android version 9. So it's the Android Pie experience, guys. And so smooth. Okay. So let's check other information here. We also have the storage which is 128 gigs of internal storage. What else? We have the RAM which is 6 gigs of RAM. This phone is built from Gorilla Glass but the frame is plastic. Could be for budget reasons. The fingerprint scanner sits below the cameras and if you are not careful, you can easily smudge the ultra wide angle camera. The phone is quite heavy because of its um, bigger battery which is inside which is 4500 milliamp power and it has a big screen which is good for gaming and media consumption. The selfie camera is being housed within a small water drop notch on the top of the screen. You can unlock the phone by double tapping the screen and also you can also add a widget to lock the phone which is this one and definitely you can set a facial recognition to unlock the phone. So let me lock the phone, raise and it detected my face, so I was able to unlock the phone. The loudspeaker at the bottom near the USB Type-C port has a decent sound. This phone has a headphone jack, so it's a good thing that you can use your existing um, headphones to this device. And insert this one and you can play the music the home screen there's no app drawer so all your applications will be shown at the home screen but the good thing you can create folders for your applications another good feature about this phone is that it has a system-wide dark mode you can definitely turn it this on to darken the phone however since this is an LCD panel you cannot really save battery that much because it's not an AMOLED panel this phone is being marketed by Xiaomi as a gaming budget phone. It has a bigger screen, it has 6 to 8 gigs of RAM, 128 internal storage, and at the same time, if you're gonna if you want to optimize your gaming experience or the performance of the game, you can utilize the game speed booster to play the game. The phone has a very big battery, it has 4,500 milliamp battery supports quick charge 4.0 with an 18 watt charger this one and it can charge the phone from 0% to 40% for just half an hour why is that because this phone has a bigger battery it will take time for it to fully charge the phone okay so now let's try the gaming experience on this phone so let me launch a game booster and then play mobile legends Okay, so the gaming experience is smooth and let's check if it will lag when we are going to encounter a clash between heroes. Okay, pretty much the gaming experience on this device is very smooth and I like it.
and I haven't seen any lags at all. Let's try playing Asphalt 9. Now, so let's play some PlayStation 2 games on this smartphone. So I'll be using the IPEGA 9087, a wireless Bluetooth controller. Now, let's launch the PlayStation 2 emulator, which is a Demon PS2, and let's play God of War 2. Alright, guys, so I have to use a mini tripod because it won't fit the IPEGA PG9087, so I have to use this tripod instead. So let me zoom in for you to see the game so let's start by defeating Ares Alright guys, as you can see, PlayStation 2 games are working fine on this device. Now let's going to play PSP games by using an emulator which is PPSSPP emulator. And we will try to play Tekken 6. Tekken 6 is working fine as well on this device, so let's try um, God of War Chains of Olympus. As you can see, Tekken 6 and God of War Chains of Olympus is working fine on this device. So basically, I can say that I can recommend this phone for gaming. Now we are going to test these cameras. First, we will be having a vlogging test and then we are going to take pictures out of this phone. So with this, I will be putting this phone inside a jelly case for me to, you know, prevent scratches. And as well, I will be using a mini tripod with this extension for the phone. Let me turn this off and I'll put it here. Alright, so let's now have a vlogging test. Okay, so this is a vlogging test using the front facing camera and I'm just walking right now. Just leave a comment down below if it's shaky and let me know the sound quality guys. It's actually noisy here. Hopefully you can hear me right now. So let me try to run and check if the stabilization of the front facing camera is very shaky. So let me try to run. Okay, so that's the running test. Leave a comment down below if it's shaky. This is the front facing camera. Okay, so this is the rear camera guys and I'm recording 1080p 60 frames per second. I'm just walking and let me know the stabilization if it's good. And let me try to run and let me know if it's shaking guys. Okay guys, so just leave a comment down below if it's shaking or not. Photos taken on the Redmi Note 8 Pro AI quad camera. So this is the normal mode. This is using the ultra wide angle lens. This is using the macro lens, which I really like with punchy colors. 
and as you can see the subject is in focus and the background is being blurred which is I really like so this is using the selfie of the camera which is I also like because the color is really good it has punchy colors and I don't have to edit this photo and it's ready to be shared to your social media platforms so this is using the portrait mode and overall it's decent and if you're gonna zoom in you will see some issues separating the subject to the background but if you will not zoom in it's actually really nice so this is using the 64 megapixel quad camera and this is the ultra wide angle lens this is the normal mode the 64 megapixel sensor this is the normal mode as well and the ultra wide angle lens Again, 64 megapixel this is the ultra wide angle lens this is the normal mode and the 64 megapixel and I also really like about the 64 megapixel because it retains a lot of details when, when you're going to zoom in this is using the ultra wide angle lens which is also nice this one 64 megapixel Let's zoom in and it retains a lot of details as well ultra wide angle lens and this is using the night mode and it retains a lot of details as well okay. so, night mode it's really good So using the night mode is really good because it provides you a lot of details and the colors actually pop as you can see on this Christmas tree and night mode also provides nice background separation to your subject as you can see when going to zoom in it's really really nice So what do you think about the night mode or the overall photography of this phone? Just leave a comment down below. There you have it guys. So this is the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro. And if you have observed, I have purchased a new jelly case for this smartphone. Primarily to protect the phone from scratches and at the same time potential damage when you accidentally drop the phone. And also I really love the color combination at the side. Now to protect your phone screen, I have purchased a matte tempered glass with anti-blue light and as well as anti-fingerprint. And overall, I really love how it looks. Now, if you're going to ask me if I'll recommend this phone, my answer is a very big yes. For the price of $230 or 11,990 pesos here in the Philippines, you can purchase a very much capable device for gaming and photography. It has a big screen and big battery, which is 4,500 milliamp hour. Now, the question is, why did I purchase this phone? I actually purchased this phone from a special someone. Do you know who she is? She's actually my mom. My mom has been using the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 for 5 years and she is due for an upgrade and I believe that my mom will like this phone because it has high resolution screen, it has cameras which produces decent photos, bigger battery and she will not be charging the phone from time to time. Now if you have this phone, please leave a comment down below how do you feel about this phone. So once again guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help my channel as well to continue the channel. Yeah, it rhymes. So once again, this is Chris Wan. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Peace. Bye-bye.